people consider you to be a spiritual guy on Twitter. And in my understanding, you're not like that at all. Spirituality is a pointless word. It's about utility. Is something useful? Does it get you where you want to go? You're always talking about extreme performance. And that's why your brand is Siddha Performance. It's the seeking performance, essentially, and seeking the truth that gets you to the highest performance in all things, whether it's business or sports or peace of mind. This drive towards utility, reality, truth, performance, they somehow wander into spirituality. People interpret them in spiritual ways, but it feels like spirituality is so cluttered with nonsense that it gets lost. Your model makes sense if one realizes that it's designed to go after extreme performance. If you want to be the best in the world at anything, you cannot follow prescription. If you want to be okay at it, then sure, you can follow prescription. If you want to learn how to lose a pound a month and get in decent shape, then you can follow a calorie counting worksheet. But if you want to be a shredded bodybuilder or an Olympic athlete, you're not going to get there through how-tos. You're going to have to create and forge your own path that is unique to you. Would that be a good way of putting it? Well, what I will add to that is that one does not have to want to become the greatest in the world. If you look at the lives of human beings, there is intense struggle. The guy who works three jobs doesn't want to work three jobs. He may not want to become Tiger Woods, but he wants to be beyond being forced to work three jobs. What keeps him working three jobs is prescriptions. The futility of prescriptions does not just harm one who wants to become world-class. It gravely harms the one who simply doesn't want to struggle. 